Today's episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real, everyday cruisers. Hey cruisers, it's our last day on the Grand Princess and it occurred to me that I forgot something very important earlier in this cruise and that is to propose a toast, rum and Diet Coke toast, to all of you for helping us to reach 20,000 subscribers. Try not to get all teary-eyed here because it was a really big deal to us. It was very touching and I had hoped to get a bottle of champagne on day one and toast to you all, and it just didn't happen. So this is my farewell to the Grand Princess. Thank you all so much to our amazing community. Toast to everyone for making what we do as our special family hobby rewarding and enjoyable every single day. So do you guys want to hear what we're doing today? <laughs> Enough with the pleasantries. Um, <clears throat> we are trying not to get depressed because you know that vibe that... <clears throat> settles over the last day of a cruise if you're not careful we're trying not to let that happen did a lot of packing yesterday and now we're going to go out and have some fun and seek out some adventure we have a few surprises for you guys today that we're going to be showing you along the way um it's been a great cruise there's been a lot of fun little surprises along the way i think um one of the things that stood out the most to me along the way on this cruise was learning about a lot of the, the seasonal workers up in Alaska who were our tour guides and how they live and how they all have three or four jobs and some of them live out of campers and some of them eat top ramen and they're all just these amazing high energy people that are making it happen um, day after day in changing weather with grumpy tourists all the time all to make us happy and that sort of surprised me it was like a, a neat takeaway from this cruise I guess you could say so I, I've been reflecting on that a little bit today. So we are taking a look at the good old Princess Patter. They have a lot going on on our farewell last day on the cruise. There's so much to choose from. I don't even know where to begin. But just to give you guys an idea of what to expect if you're going on the Grand Princess on the last day, the Lotus Spa has a 60-minute um, minute. 60 minute a uh, massage for $119 today. At the movies tonight, they're showing Logan. They're doing On Deck for the Cure, the Breast Cancer Walk, the fundraiser at one o'clock. And they're doing Voice of the Ocean finale. So that's the one where the um, the guests participate in a talent show. It's way more than talent show, but that's pretty exciting. They also had a cooking demonstration and galley tour, but we did that exact same thing on the Star Princess, so we opted not to do it. We got a little bit of a late start this morning, so um, we did a little swimming and hot tub time this morning and walked around the ship, took our time, relaxed, had a leisurely breakfast, and now we're getting close to lunchtime and that next little wave of walking around the ship and trying to get ourselves into trouble. Just kidding. You guys know I never get myself into trouble, so let's go see what's happening around the ship. Leave it to us to wait until the very last day of the cruise to try lunch in the main dining room. It's really crowded in here. You can tell that people are kind of taking advantage of all the nice dining opportunities today. They did have a pub lunch again today. The buffet is jam-packed and we were going to do room service but we just decided we wanted to get out and about. So I want to tell you guys about something really cool. I don't know if it's just that I've never noticed this before but Princess now has brunch at lunch so you can get five different items on the daily when the dining room is open at lunchtime that are breakfast items. So they have continental pastries, maple granola with fruit and nuts, seasonal seasonal fresh fruit, eggs benedict, or French toast. That's kind of nice. 
kind of, you know, all along the lines of the sea day brunch concept that Carnival has. So some of the other yummy things that the um, waiter recommended today, they had bruschetta today, stuffed calamari, Manhattan clam chowder. They have the usual burgers and fries and things like that. But then one thing they do every day here is they do these combos where you can get half sandwich, soup and salad or half a sandwich and soup. So that's kind of cool. They also have two pastas today. They also have a seafood Louis, an Italian panini. They have paella, yum. They have chicken teriyaki, which everyone is raving about the chicken teriyaki and my husband ordered it. And they also have some vegetarian dishes and a lot of nice dessert. So hopefully it'll be nice and worth the extra time to sit down. And after this, we're gonna go and see if we can catch our friend that we met on board, our subscriber, Joan who is showcasing her quilts with her quilting group. So hopefully we can make it to that at two o'clock. We're coming right up on that, so see you soon. We found the Botticelli dining room and we're going to go explore all the beautiful work that the quilters have done throughout the duration of this cruise. We just met Terry, who coordinates these events and has done over 20 of them since 2012. And she told us that they actually bring hundreds of sewing machines on board, which I didn't even know. It's fascinating. And they actually have some for sale today at really, really good prices. So let's go see if we can find um, some beautiful quilts. Today's drink of the day is a Moscow Mule. I've always wanted to try one of these. So I guess it's Stoli lemongrass syrup and ginger beer. Super sweet, but yummy. Wanted to try something different. So we went to the Wheelhouse Bar finally for their happy hour that's four o'clock to five o'clock every day where you buy one drink and you get the same drink for a dollar. So you can't mix it up. You can't get like one martini and one Cosmo or whatever for the deal. You have to get buy one, get the same one for a dollar. But for 10 bucks on a cruise, two cocktails is pretty darn good. They even let my son get a mocktail. So he got a raspberry Collins with no alcohol. We're having a nice afternoon. It definitely feels like a sea day today. It's cold. I busted out my puffy jacket again because it was freezing. We were actually up on one of the higher decks watching a movie um, on the movies under the stars screen. It was not really something that we planned to do, but we were walking by and there was this movie called Monster Trucks playing. So we sat and watched like an hour of it, bundled up, got our jackets and just enjoyed <clears throat> some crisp ocean air and a little bit of downtime. So now probably go back to the room and do a little bit of pre-dinner packing and then head up to the One Five Lounge for our last night of guacamole chips and pre-dinner cocktails before we go to our last dinner and say our goodbyes to our wonderful waiters. Um, Jesse and Ashwin who have been super awesome this whole cruise so cheers all right it's farewell night in the dining room and um, we're still upbeat happy looking forward to tomorrow even though it's a long drive home and work the next day it's been a wonderful cruise we're so excited to have had this experience in Alaska again we love to do Alaska every two years just get that urge that pull around the one-year mark to go back so guys we have covered 3100 nautical miles on this cruise that is a lot in fact going just from San Francisco to Ketchikan was over a thousand nautical miles there's something really special about the experience of being at sea and having this extra time, the 10 night cruise versus the seven night cruise is really a good opportunity for our family to unwind. So I want to thank everybody for following along with us. If you haven't watched all the vlogs before this last vlog of the evening, be sure to go back and check them all out. We have experiences from every single day on this cruise to Alaska and to Victoria. And we really appreciate all of you and that you followed along with us. And until next time, We'll see you on the high seas. Bye.